Hello everybody, this is a Sin City Preacher. Uh, you can just call me Brother Luke. This video is addressing street preachers. Now I realize that there are some street preachers who are doing an excellent job. Sadly, I think that's very few. But this video is addressed to the vast majority of street preachers who are doing a, who are doing a horrible job. Not only are they preaching uh, with a hateful attitude, but they are also preaching a false gospel. The typical message you hear from these street preachers is that um, you've got to stop sinning to get saved. And they say that if you say you're a Christian, but you have continued to sin, that's proof that you're not really a Christian. They say that if you're a true Christian, you stop sinning. I've heard that so many times, and that's not the gospel message, it's not the truth. Uh, there are Christians who are uh, really doing an excellent job uh, with their uh, lives being sanctified and they're growing and maturing spiritually and then there are also carnal Christians who uh, continue in sin and er in fact every Christian is a carnal Christian to some extent it's just a question of degrees how carnal are we so all of you three preachers who are telling people they've got to stop sinning or they're not a real Christian and you're saying that you are a true Christian, uh, I want to right now call you a, a lying hypocrite. And many of you I know personally. And I can prove that you're lying hypocrites because I know your lives. So I'm going to ask you, you know you like to ask people to take a good person test to, to show that they're a sinner, to show that they, uh, they have sinned and therefore they need the Savior. Well, I'd like to give you a, a similar test right now. But I'm going to call this a true Christian test. I want to test you to see if you are a true Christian based upon your own requirements. And that is that if you're a true Christian, you must have stopped all your sinning. So my question to you is, since you became a Christian, I want to ask you, how many lies have you told? Now I ask you how many lies you've told because I am absolutely certain that you have lied. The question is just how many lies. I want to ask you how many, say, crooked business deals have you participated in? I want to ask you how many times have you fornicated I'm talking about after you became a Christian, you fornicated. That means you had sex when you were not married. And I'm also going to ask you, how many times did you commit adultery? And that means that you're married, but you had sex with someone else. I'm asking how many times you've done that, because I know for a fact that you're guilty of these things. Now. I could name a lot of names right now because I know you personally. And I know some of you have had sex. You fornicated before you got married. I know some of you have cheated on your spouses. I know some of you have crooked business deals. And I'm condemning you as a hypocrite right now. A lying, sinning hypocrite. You are imposing rules on everyone else that you have not followed yourself. And I'm guilty too. After I became a Christian, I have not stopped all my sins. I'm carnal to some extent. Now, thankfully, my salvation is not based on my righteousness. My salvation is based upon the righteousness of Jesus Christ. He imputed His righteousness to me. That's the righteousness that I have, not my own. And, and my sins 
before I got saved and after I got saved until I take my last breath. All those sins, they were imputed to Jesus Christ from the cross. My sins were charged to His account. His holiness, His righteousness was credited to me. That is what I'm basing my salvation on. Now, you lying, sinning, hypocritical street preachers who are telling people if they don't stop sinning, if they have not stopped sinning, they're not a true Christian, you cannot pass the true Christian test that I just gave you. And if you think you can do it, you can make a video, you can do a comment, or you can see me in front of the Bellagio Hotel, and I'll test you right there in front of everyone, because I know some of your sins. So stop being a hypocrite, and instead preach the true gospel. Salvation comes by the grace of God through faith alone in Christ alone. Sin is not the issue for our salvation today. Because all of our sins, saved and lost, everybody, their sins were all charged to Jesus Christ on the cross. All sins have been paid for. The only issue today between man and God is do they have faith in the Son of God as their Savior? Okay. I've taken my stand against the lying, sinning, hypocritical street preachers.